Welcome to It's Not Letting Me. This video will help you learn how to take a screenshot on a Mac. On a PC, there's a print screen button, so they make it quite easy. A Mac, it's a few more steps. The first way you can do it is to use the app called Grab. Inside the Applications folder, in the Utilities folder, the app called Grab, double click that and open it. You can also search for Grab by clicking the magnifying glass in the upper right corner of the screen and type the word Grab in. And the shortcut to get to the search bar for that magnifying glass is Command Spacebar. So try Command Spacebar, type the word Grab, hit Enter, and it'll open the app. Inside Grab, you have five options under the Capture menu as to how to capture your screen. You can capture a selection where you drag a certain area of the screen. You can capture a window, you can capture a screen, a timed screen, or a touch bar for users who have the new MacBook Pros. Today, we're gonna capture a window and a selection. So choose selection and then use the mouse to drag over the area that you want to capture. Don't worry about the grab text that's showing up. It will not record that part of the screen. Once you take a snapshot using grab, it will open that image in preview. Then just go to file, save as, and you can save that image to any folder that you want to on your computer. Next, we'll show you how to shoot a window. Go into grab, go to capture, choose window, and then cycle through to a window you'd like to capture. Just click and it will snapshot the entire window. Open it in preview and save it to whatever folder you'd like to on your computer. There's also two shortcut keys that will do exactly these same things. I'll show you how to use those right now. You can use Shift Command 4. When you use Shift Command 4, it will start out with the selection tool. You'll see it looks kind of like a crosshair. Using the selection tool, you can drag and select whatever you want. When this tool is active, you can hit the space bar and it will cycle through from the selection tool to the window tool. So if you want to shoot a window or if you want to do a selection, it's all Shift Command 4 and then spacebar will cycle through to give you choices. It'll make that nice sound and you know that it took a picture. When you use the shortcut keys Shift Command 3 or Shift Command 4, it automatically saves that image to your desktop. It'll timestamp it from when it took the picture and it'll save it as a JPEG. Thanks for tuning in to It's Not Letting Me. Please like and subscribe down below and leave us a comment to let us know what else you'd like to learn about in technology. We'll see you next time on It's Not Letting Me. It's not letting me. Quit saying that.